Hello friends! In this video you'll see how the actors of the TV series Miami Vice 1984-1989 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Detective James Crockett is Billy's birth father and also investigates crimes with Ricardo. He can get pretty serious about his job, discarding all emotions, but when it comes to the people close to him, he can get pretty vindictive. Detective Ricardo Tubbs, Philip Michael Thomas, was one of James' partners. He is used to being extremely focused in his work, knows how to interact with people and tries to control his emotions. Tubbs is attracted to women, but doesn't like being tricked by them. Detective Gina Calabresi, Sandra Santiago, is in service with Metro Date and is attached to Trudy. She is not one of those people who can betray, is able to skillfully solve crimes and at the same time is ready to get used to various images, even prostitutes. Detective Stan Swedek was a colleague of Ricardo Tubbs and was also involved in a stakeout with Zito. He is not serious in many of life's situations, loves to joke, but remains extremely focused at work moments. The role is performed by Michael Talbot. Lieutenant Martin Castillo held a senior position at Metrodate dealing with organized crime. He has a rather persistent nature and is distinguished by an attentive and heavy look, but at the same time he is not devoid of compassion. Played by Edward James Almas. Detective Larry Zito was Stan Swedek's partner, with whom he was assigned to the Metro Dade Police Department. He participates in the investigation of crimes and often monitors criminals. Zito knows how to learn from the mistakes of others. Played by John Deal. Easy Moreno, Martin Ferrero collaborated on an ongoing basis with James, providing him with the information he needed. He is not distinguished by outstanding intelligence, has a somewhat zealous nature, but also generally shows himself as a cheerful person. Lester Costco is listed as an employee of Metro Date, where James also worked. He has a technical mind, is well versed in the department's specialized equipment and makes necessary repairs. Played by Julio Oscar Michoso, who died in 2017 of a heart attack. Eddie Rivera worked with James Crockett at the Metro Date police station until his death. He often performed undercover assignments, infiltrating various criminal gangs, and one of these missions cost him his life. Married to Maria, he was played by Jimmy Smith. Caroline Crockett, Belinda Montgomery, was one of the wives of James, to whom she had her son Billy. She's a rather caring wife who also cares about her child, but her spouse's dangerous job forced her to break off the relationship. Maria Petrosa is also like her brothers, part of the Escorpionistas and has a scorpion tattoo on her neck. She was sent to infiltrate the Pedraza family and make sure they destroy each other. Maria can lie and deftly manipulate people. Played by El Pide Carrillo. Raymond Pedraza is the only son of Luis and is closely related to Carlo Jr. He also, like his father, is engaged in the sale of drugs and will not miss the opportunity to get full power. Played by Miguel Ferrer, who died in 2017 from a throat cancer. Carlos Pedraza Jr. was related by blood to Lucia and was Raymond's natural nephew. He can be manipulated to some extent and is also capable of committing murder. Often condemned the behavior of the mother when she appeared in public drunk. Played by Rafael Ferrer. DEA Miami Commander Bill Smitrovich was one of those involved in the elimination of large drug dealers of the Revealers brothers and involved James in this case. He is quite smart, able to show tenacity and tries to always find a way out of a difficult situation. 
Maria Rivera was married to Eddie, with whom she was expecting a child. Even though she has a husband, she tries not to sit at home, but to earn her own money, even as a waitress. She has curly hair and wears neat earrings with a chain. Played by Josie de Guzman. Leon Jefferson, Michael T. Williamson, was one of Calderon's people who does what the boss needs but mostly works as a dealer. After a failed deal, he showed concern for his life, which is why he became involved with James, but still died at the hands of this author. Carson, Chris Rock, is listed as a clerk with the Metro Dade Police Department. He shows an increased interest in kidnapping people and shifting their memory, which are associated with aliens. Carson helped sort out Trudy Joplin's condition, has a wide smile. Lou DeLong is an R&B artist who has released numerous albums and enjoyed huge popularity. He was also the subject of Trudy Joplin's hallucination. Member of Astrolife, played by James Brown, who died in 2006 from a heart attack and fluid in his lungs. Colin, like Montana Stone, was a member of SOS. His main task was to exterminate all the drug dealers by the Miami River, for which he and his other colleagues believably impersonated homeless people, but also engaged in robberies. Tony Amato, Bruce Willis, is Rita's lawful wedded husband. He is an arms dealer with extensive ties to the criminal world, which has turned him into an extremely violent man who doesn't need to arrange all kinds of violence against people, including his own wife. Rita is married to Tony, but has no warm feelings for him because of her abusive spouse. She was willing to do anything to dissolve the hated marriage, including agreeing to assist OCB. Wears need carnation earrings. The role is played by Catherine Barwitz. FBI agent McIntyre, Tom Margurison, performs a variety of complex bureau assignments, including recovering stinger missiles. He can wait, be observant, and is not lacking in morals. He is able to work in tandem with others, including a stint with James Crockett. Coneho, Coati Mundi maintained a good relationship with Mikey, with whom he was in Mi Vida Loca. He has a criminal past, to which he returned by committing a robbery of Don Gallego with a friend, but his carelessness in choosing a victim led to his death. Arthur Lawson, Ed O'Neill, is listed as a federal agent who, during an assignment to eliminate Sam Kovic's pornography business, failed to resist temptation and became deeply immersed in this licentious lifestyle, has a weakened psyche that provoked his suicide. Jive Man makes a living selling stolen goods illegally, but must sell minor items like wigs. He clearly knows what price he wants to receive for the goods, but sometimes he can lose his vigilance. Where is a mustache? The role is performed by Brand Jennings. Cindy, Sherry Headley, is David's girlfriend, whom Bendy tried to kill. She is quite sociable and positive girl who is even ready to take risks for the sake of meeting her boyfriend. Cindy is seriously into photography and carries her camera with her everywhere. David is in a romantic relationship with Cindy, who is being hunted by Bendy. He is able to be attentive and he is not indifferent to the fate of his dear person. He loves to ride a skateboard, but sometimes it ends in severe injuries. Played by Cameron Arnett. Daniel here has an affiliation with the French Interpol and was also romantically attracted to James Crockett. She can be charming, but she has a rather tough nature and can act meanly even towards those she has treated well. Detective Trudy Joplin is a regular partner of Gina Calabrese, with whom she often completes undercover agency assignments. She has a strong character and is also careful, not used to giving things up halfway and not inclined to indulge, played by Olivia Brown. 
Zolan lives in France, where he is the head of Interpol. It's important for him to maintain the good reputation of his agent, for which he is even ready to sacrifice several agents. Played by Leonard Cohen, who died in his sleep after falling in 2016. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.